Hello, this is Jan from JC WebTech. I create videos with tips and tricks for Elementor and web design in general. And today I have a quick one. I promise will be today will be a quick one. I have here this slider created with uh, Jet Engine from Custom Post Types. By the way, if you want to see how to create this, uh, uh, I think it, people call it Netflix style carousel. Uh, you can check my. Uh, other videos but now we will focus on how to add here a little snippet of uh, the text content from the article or the listing and by the way it is uh, it is this custom post type that is uh, listed there it is displayed there if we look at the, uh, the description this one is not so long but some of them are for example this one is quite long and we obviously don't want to show it all there but uh, so we will start modifying uh, this uh, card. I already put here this text element that now I want the dynamic content there, which would be the uh, post. Uh... Okay, so for some reason I cannot edit to to text element. So, uh, but it will work with the dynamic field, and we don't want the title, but we want the the content. I give it some uh, some margin on the left, uh, the right 40, left 40. Uh, we'll center it. Okay, but we still don't want it to be this long because if I update it and I see on the on the front end, how would it look like? Yeah, it would be very long, and the the other slide I. Like even longer like this cannot be here and by default you cannot limit in a uh, in jet engine the number of characters that you are outputting I believe it is because in some cases it's really hard to ensure that if you put here some weird code it wouldn't break the site so I think they're they are like uh, keeping away staying away from this option in the core but actually it was it was like hard really hard to find or maybe I don't know how to google but uh, maybe if you are searching for it you are also having trouble to find it they have these dev tool plugins that extend their plugins and we want we are after trim string callback this mini plugin so we download it Uh, we go to plugins or add new plugin upload plugin install and activate all right so now if we go back to the to the listing item and we have it saved so we refresh it yes so now we should have a filter field output i believe and we want uh, we want trim uh, strings by characters actually it's the last one so it's easy to easy to find let's put like i don't know 70 you get the idea so now we will limit it to 70 characters and we just uh, save it we go back to our front end and voila we have it we have like three lines of text in each of the slides if i look on the on the desktop yeah we have like two lines actually centered on the front end and that's that's what you normally want so if you were searching for it like crazy like i was uh, please hit the like and uh, subscribe button because it will also help uh, YouTube to get this information to other people that are also searching for it. Uh, yeah, I didn't even know for a long time, I didn't know it existed. I was doing some PHP uh, short codes uh, kind of things to to achieve this. So uh, yeah, please share and share this and uh, like this video so that people know about this option because it's very underrated. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in next one.